Yes, ma'am. Very, very good afternoon. So we are meeting at the first time. So please introduce yourself. Yeah. As uh, I think you know that uh, I'm Shivani. I'm connecting from UP district of Tabgar. And uh, my qualification, I'm a master of art with English literature. I'm a teacher by profession. I run my own coaching as well as YouTube channel. That name is Startup in the Classes by Shivani. This is enough for in my intro and in brief. If you want to know something more about me, then you can ask. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's a great that you are a teacher. And so are you teaching in private school or government school? No, no, I'm teaching in private school and uh, coaching too. Oh, how many subjects do you teach? I teach English in school. I teach English, computer and IT. But in coaching, especially I teach English, so you can consider I'm an English teacher. Yeah, great. So how long have you been teaching? Sir, I have been teaching for the last eight years. Eight when years. I was in class 12. Yeah, when it was the time of playing, since then I have been teaching. So I must believe that uh, you have great experience in English language. So, of course, I think that. Yeah, sir. Uh, first thing, before going in the depth of conversation, please introduce yourself because my viewers are new and they don't know you. Though. So, first introduce, then we will proceed. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. So, of course, my name is Gyanendra from UP in Lucknow. And uh, I live in village area. So, uh, I'm not going to tell you about my profession. So, if I talk about my profession, so of course, I work in my farm some farm related work I have and also I have some animals. I just take care of them. And if I talk about this channel, so I have been running this channel for one and a half years. That's all about me. Okay, that's good since you are a YouTuber. So how is the response of your YouTube channel and how is experience to about YouTube? And if uh, any candidate uh, will meet to you and he will say, I want to uh, create a YouTube channel. So what would you like to suggest to him or her? Yeah, so I talk about my experience. So in the beginning, I felt bored uh, because though I used to do hard work, but I couldn't get good response from my YouTube. So it was really very really difficult for me uh, to go ahead because I was totally demotivated and I did hard work, but I uh, didn't like get success. But I, still, I didn't give up and I just kept on working. And like after eight months or nine months, my channel got monetized. Uh, so luckily, my channel got, got monetized and now I started earning money. So yeah, uh, then I believed that. Yes. That's the lesson for that. And yeah, this is the result of your hard work. Yeah, thank you so thank much, ma'am. And I must say that then I believe that, yes, if person, uh, suppose uh, someone is doing going to do something, and they feel bored and they just think that it can't, I can't do this. So I think it is not good. Sometimes we have to face problems and we have to do some, we have to go through some bad situation. So it doesn't mean that we have to give up our, our dreams, you know? So yeah, yes, yes. so end of the like this, when my channel got monetized, so after that I realized that yes, uh, if I had like give up my dream, so I wouldn't be here. So. Then I built my hard work and I started working then consistently. And now I'm earning, like I'm, I'm earning as well as I'm like learning so many things from YouTube. Great. So it was my experience. If I talk about someone who is going to, who wants to start uh, YouTube channels, of course, uh, of course, anyone can start. This is a social media. And you, if you are going so on social media, it's really very really good. You know, you are going to get so many things from other people. So in the beginning, you feel bored and you have to do hard work a little bit, but don't worry, you will get success. So just believe, uh, every person should like believe in their self. So that is all about me. I would like to uh, like say that everyone should uh, start YouTube channel if they are involved in social media. Yeah, okay sir, uh, what is the most important thing before starting a YouTube channel and uh, what we should uh, take care of those things when we are going to start a YouTube channel, which is the most important for that, according to you? 
Yeah, so for that, we must have any like uh, topic, like suppose I have any skill. So for that, for long time, because I'm not going to start uh, randomly any YouTube channel because it's really very difficult after that. You know, after uploading uh, like some videos, you just think that I don't have any like uh, skill, any reach. How can I upload for that video? So yeah, for that, you must have to think before you create channel that uh, if you want to show something, so you like you must be perfect on this. So this is and if I talk about instrument, so that thing if you have mobile, you can start. But yeah, if you want to show something, show your skill. So yeah, for that, you have to assure yourself that yes, I'm going to like I have this skill, so I'm going to share this. So I'm going to make videos because it is really very really difficult. Earlier, like when I started, so I started uh, making solo videos. But for, uh, after, some, after some time, I couldn't get topic to make videos. So it was really very really hard to crack for me. Uh, then I realized that, yes, uh, of course, then I learned so many things. Then I started again making video. So like for two or three months, uh, month, I had to uh, leave my YouTube channel. Then I learned and then I like uh, made up my mind uh, uh, so many topics. Then I uh, started uploading. So yeah, for that, we must have any topic to create a new YouTube channel. Yeah, we must have uh, one particular place that as uh, educational or cooking or whatever we want to do. Like we must choose before making. Yes, like, sir. Yes, now I would like to know that uh, how did you start your uh, like uh, learning English and how did you improve? Of course, you are a teacher, you are a trainer. So I would like uh, I would love to know that how did you learn language? How did I learn English? Mm. Yeah, I learn English uh, by practice. And uh, when I was in class two also, then my brother, my elder brother is uh, was running a uh, coaching. So he suggested me that now you should join this coaching. And uh, after teaching or when you start teaching, then you can learn a lot of things. Then I uh, thought and I said, yeah, he's saying right. Then I joined that coaching. And uh, I practiced, but uh, that time one year I worked very hard and uh, with practice. And I have uh, environment of spoken English because uh, my brother are teacher and they are they can talk to me in English. So it was uh, not so difficult, but not so easy. It was yeah, moderately yeah. intensive. Yeah. So it was very wonderful journey. Like how much time did you take, like to become fluent? Yeah, I took uh, means uh, first uh, I complete all grammars, uh, all topics uh, of English. And because I was not only learning spoken English, I was teaching 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. So in that point of view, I had to cover all the grammars too. Because in spoken, mostly models and tenses are required. But when we talk about 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, then active, passive, narration, syntax, many more. So yeah. I had to cover those things. So you can say almost I took one year uh, after having good knowledge of uh, grammar and uh, experience too. That then I got confidence. Yeah, now I can speak and I can teach English too. So yeah. overall, one year. Like you had an environment. Still, you have environment. That is why you took one year. So it is great. Like you just completed so so many wow. things and you started speaking in one year. That's great. Otherwise, you know, it is really very difficult to become fluent in English in one year, you know. So, yeah. So, of course, if you are like, if you are going to do hard work related to your dream, any something you, whatever you want to achieve. So, of course, it is not difficult and you are not going to get so much, it takes so much time. So, yeah, of course. And yeah. uh, so after learning English, so first you started teaching in a school or like at, at your home, yeah, like you started giving tuition? No, no, no. I started, I joined to teach in my spoken classes, in my own coaching. And while teaching there, I, after one year, I started to teach 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th. But recently, you can say before three months, I joined a school because then I did not join because still I am a student. I have cracked the test. 
means uh, teacher it did test now i am preparing for super test so when i join when we join a school then we don't get enough time for ourselves but recently before 3 months or 4 months i joined a school which is situated uh, very close to my house and uh, they requested me because of some reason i had to join there so you can say recently i have joined but uh, i was teaching in institute not tuition and not school and now you have like your own institute yeah i have my own institute of spoken english how many students are there there are uh, one batches we can contain only 25 or 30 students so one batch is going on right now because uh, i am also a teacher so i had to teach uh, 9 10 11 12 there are four classes and then one spoken classes and school too so we don't have enough time uh, but uh, when uh, summer vacation is going on then that time two or three batches is going on but right now only one batch is going on okay so you only you have to handle your student or uh, have you hired any someone any any other teacher no no for uh, for spoken english only i and my brother two and for other classes 9 10 11 12th we have team of math physics all teachers but for spoken classes there are two classes they are in spoken first is grammar class and second is conversation class so first i take and second brother my elder brother take takes but sometimes we change according to situation and condition so there are two case, uh, classes of 45 minutes one teacher teaches grammar and second teacher takes conversation class you can say only my family means i my elder brother and i yeah great and uh, have you ever thought about uh, taking online class yeah i have thought that so i have started uh, okay. i wanted to um, actually i would like to tell you that i wanted to be the most famous teacher of the world i want my name in the top 10 teachers of the world so i thought uh, there is only one way to be get famous that is social media offline mm-hmm. we can't be because there is a criteria of students how many students can know us there is a criteria but social media uh, nobody if uh, they have not meet us but they can know by social media yeah this is shivani ma'am shivani ma'am so i started but uh, uh, these times condition is not in my favor but in future very soon i will start my online classes batches spoken english 9 10th 11 12th competition to if god bless yeah online class like online teaching is really very good you know so to be told uh, let me tell you uh, i i am also teaching some students like uh, i have 15 or 20 students so i am uh, just teaching them and it's a really, really very great experience like online teach because offline is really very difficult like first you have to wait students and you have to like uh, face so many problem here and you can't find so many students here so online you you are getting so many students from different different state and country as well so it is good and they just come on time and you have to provide them class so this is really very great so i have been teaching like for 6 uh, months so yeah i must say that yeah it is good it is better for uh, than offline class so yeah offline class is better because we don't need to get ready students and they can read very easily all times uh, but for offline classes we have to get ready before 30 minutes and after 30 minutes and then we have to go there sometimes uh, uh, it is raining or a lot of problems we have to face but uh, if we teach online so there are many profits there we uh, offline we give only one classes and they, nobody can get again that class but online if we are teaching then we can give live classes and after that we can upload and after that same videos one year two years four years people are watching and we are earning money so that video which we made one day so this is the greatest profit of online classes and uh, social media you can say so many teacher they have gone uh, they like they have started online class so like while teaching what kind of problem do you face because i am also teacher because i know that as uh, what kind of problem uh, my student they face in the, in beginning so mostly like uh, what kind of like uh, problem they are facing like your student and what you have to tell them again and again how do you teach them like uh, the greatest problem which uh, uh, we are as teachers are getting in students so that is uh, they are not so active not so regular and they don't have uh, 
uh, as interest as earlier students used to be because uh, nowadays they are addicted uh, of phone social media and uh, somebody has uh, put in their minds that uh, there is no need of reading you can earn a lot of money by making reels or by doing social media like this but uh, that is a secondary things we need to education also for running uh, social media facebook is start too so i uh, they are not so regular not uh, so active in class Uh, not so punctual in class and they don't attend class very carefully and very attentively too as earlier students used to earlier when uh, uh, there was a lack of uh, phone that time and uh, many more problems uh, some students uh, um, i can't say in words so that uh, all types of problem because teacher is uh, teaching is the field where we meet all type of students some decent students uh, some low for students and some not uh, so good students so we have to manage everything how we have to take and we have to take uh, one middle point of teaching to them also so many more problems but in starting we had to face a lot of things but now we have experience or i have experience so it is very easy to manage everything for me but in starting i had to face a lot of problems especially for one year especially for one year because when i started that time i was quite young i was in class 12 so in spoken classes there is no criteria of age there are some parents used to come some ba final students came uh, used to come many more like that so when i had to teach then they had or because some students has mentality that she is the student of class 12 uh, or she is in ba first year what will she teach like that so yeah. many more things i many more things i had to bear in that uh, duration but uh, i didn't uh, give up so finally i am here yes yes so of course we should not like uh, think that oh other what other people are saying you know we have to keep on working because uh, no matter whether i am in no matter whether i am 12th class uh, student or what of course i have still yeah. so this is yeah since since then since then i believed that age uh, are only number if we have courage if we have uh, interest or if we have will power to learn anything to teach anything to do anything at the age of 60 75 then we can do there are many ladies you can see that they are learning english and they are like our mother and grandmother but they are learning english they are using youtube and they are having conversation that is a really wonderful so age are only numbers age doesn't matter whatever we can learn from anyone we can learn from the child too and from the oldest person too mm of course like we are not going to become perfect like uh, as per the age you know we can like if we if we are doing hard work of course uh, i have achieved my like uh, any skill in early age so what uh just because of my age you think that oh how, how can he teach he can't teach no it's not like that of course i have observed so many things of course i can teach so sometime it's happen that uh you know like two or three classes i just take uh, while grazing the fellow so my student knows know that yes my sir is grazing the fellow however it is so they don't care about my work however i am teaching they know that uh, i need only his Yeah. yeah very few when we are mature then we have ability to think this but when we are unmature then we uh, see that things people will say that uh, he is class 12 or he is not good background like that but only the mature person can think like that so very yeah. few person think like that otherwise if we if we ones are living in so of yeah, i mean this word can't judge anyone like by its cover uh, of course like my my uh, students some of my students they never cares uh, like what i'm doing i tell them that yes i am teaching you while grazing the fellows do you have any problem they said no 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 you just tell me how i become fluent in english i just said of course that is why i'm like here so that's all they don't care and i of course i get so much confident from them that yes i am able to teach and earlier it was really really hard to prep for me to start taking online class but anyhow i started and i started providing what i have so now they uh, they think that yes I, uh, they are improving 
so great so that is what like it's not like that until i have any certificate of teacher i'm not going to teach it's not if you have skill you is if you have skill you can uh, share so this is yeah all. so much ma'am that you have given me your precious time so it is great uh, you sir you also gave me but it was a very fruitful session with you and if the next time time will allow us and we will join sure if you